Hey guys, Joshua Peterson, Peterson Electric. Want to show you something real quick, real important. Um, this hot tub was actually tripping. When we put, this is the second part of the video, when we put this pump on, it actually blew the breaker. And there's a reason why. This spa was designed as a three wire tub, not a four. Well, the guy that wired it made two big errors. One, he ran four wires going to the tub, right here. And he actually landed what the neutral is for the ground. Well, this really doesn't even have a neutral. It's, it's two hots and a ground. That's a three wire tub in the manufacturer spec of a Sundance. And I actually wired this original tub five years ago. And then this guy came in and wired it. And so he, he puts two of these together, okay? So the tub's been fine. But the minute I put a load on it, so let's act like I didn't even wire this pump out here, and I put this on, boom, we're getting a back trace. You're going to get a double feed th through the neutral to the ground. Now before I pulled a wire through, we had to actually pull out one of the wires, and in here now, you can see I've got a white, a green, and two blacks. Okay? We had a hard time trying to get a green through with these number sixes. Um, so anyways, I've got a number ten. And I know you guys on YouTube are probably going to criticize me. Do what you need. I don't care. But the bottom line is that right now, the only way we could have got two paths of current going through here, on this clean neutral right now, because this is isolated, we had to get another ground in here. And now that we did, the thing that you got to do is you got to disconnect this. You cannot do that on a four-wire tub. You will blow that GFI called a nuisance. So I already cut it, and I'll, I'll cap it at both ends. But you're going to pull that off. Again, this is not a four-wire tub. Per manufacturers, if you read your instructions, you've got to isolate that ground off. There is no need for it. So what we're going to do is we're just going to cap this in here. We could pull it out, but... You know, I, I didn't wire this. The other guy did. So we're basically going to put that in there. Now our neutrals are separated. Okay. So our neutral coming in goes to the bar. And then it senses to the GFCI. From the GFCI to the hot tub. We're sensing it through. We're going to put this guy on now. 60 amp GFCI breaker. Which honestly this tub could have gone away with 50. Okay, and then we're going to take our amp probe, go to amps, and we're going to hit this line coming in. We've got to turn on our tub. I want to make sure that we're drawing appropriate heat. We've got the heater on and the pump on. We're only at 32 amps. The manufacturer's instructions said you go to 48 amps, but in the past the customer said he used to get two pumps and the heater running at the same time but now he's not able to I don't know if that's a control board or what but on the other leg we had 34 amps okay so when I pushed this on it didn't change my volt or my amperage but if I go to my other leg bear with me it's really hard to get it in there okay turn that tub back on Okay, now we're running hotter here there we go 40 amps okay turn this off turn it on so the inrush current on his pond pumps at five and a half amps but when it's running it's four amps so we're at 38 amps this wire is being fed from downstairs, a 60 amp breaker, number six gauge wire, THWN-2, so it has a 90 degrees Celsius uh, rating. So that's gonna be good right around 60 amps. Um, 310-15B15, B, B if you wanna check me. Anyways, so the bottom line is that we were trying to get in here a five and a half amp breaker because the panel was full and we on the other side. We just came out of here and this is kind of designed as a little sub panel. Personally, I like to see number four gauge going here with a one inch, and I like to see 80, 85, well, can't get 85 amps, but you could get 80 amps out here, 
in your uh, 60 degree 